So, um, I don't think anybody who retains even a shred of rationality uh, can deny that the, the American society, American culture has uh, promoted, uh, just without let up, sexual harassment, uh, gender harassment. And it gets all the way down to uh, middle schools and high schools, according to this report, and probably lower than that. Um, it's something that we're constantly on guard about, uh, Kathy and me, so far in, in, at the school that Molly goes to, public school Molly goes to. None of that uh, has occurred that we're aware of. And, and I think we would be aware of it because we try to stay active in school. And I think that's what most parents have to do. And I realize that's difficult for a lot of parents. I understand that. But where does this come from? Well, um, there may not be a cause and effect in what I'm going to share with you, but uh, the most recent example, uh, I was watching uh, television this morning <clears throat> about uh, Herman Cain making statements that, uh, you know, he's not going to take any more questions. You know, the American public can go kiss his ass as far as, it, it, as, far as these questions about his sexual harassment of his... Uh, Subordinates when he was head of the National Restaurant Association, uh, yeah, people just kiss his ass. You know, get out of here. I'm not going to answer your questions. Go away. I'm not just not going to do it. Oh, really? Okay, Herman. And that was being discussed by a lot of uh, the anchor people and and their guests on both CNN and MSNBC this morning. And the 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 weirdest damn thing to me, and, and it just, I mean, they might as well have set it off with blaring trumpets. The conversation was about how Herman Cain defending himself against these charges would show how he handles stress and would determine how he would handle the presidency. Do you need me to repeat that again? The charges of sexual harassment, the charges of, of bringing pressure and smarmy remarks down on your subordinates. And and some of these women have said it was repeated. And you know that Herman Cain, just like Uncle Clarence Thomas, the Supreme Court Justice, this kind of stuff doesn't happen once or twice or 20 times. It's an ongoing situation. But these punk-ass television anchors and correspondents, the only thing they could get their, their uh, corporatized teeth into was the fact that this would toughen Herman Cain up. This would determine whether or not Herman Cain could handle the affairs of state. What? So that's the litmus test now. If you are, and, and they use Bill Clinton as an example. Well, look at Bill Clinton. Look how he handled everything after he was charged with. Blah, 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 blah. Bill Clinton uh, was never charged with anything even remotely resembling sexual assault. I'm not going to defend him. But if you remember, it was some nasty, nasty Republican operative who who recorded phone calls between Clinton's girlfriend and the nasty Republican operative and then used them to blackmail the president of the United States. These were consenting adults. Whether it violated Bill Clinton's oath of marriage is for him to determine and his wife and everybody involved. But don't use the Monica Lewinsky, Bill Clinton thing as an example because it doesn't fly. Now, the Republicans always try to do that. But that's because Republicans are sick, degenerate hypocrites. All of them. It's just a matter of degrees. So Herman Cain's attitudes toward subordinate women according to all the television pundits who are discussing this miserable bastard's uh, a career of sexual harassment all of that has to do with toughening him up or whether or not he can take the heat to determine whether or not he's going to be a good president now would they say that the same thing about a female let's supposing that uh, oh i don't know pick one mm, michelle bachman that's the only one i can think of or sarah palin last year or a couple of years ago if they had been if, if michelle bachman were accused of sexually harassing men <laughs> would 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 somebody say would these right wingers say uh, i'm sorry would the, would the television pundits say well this will determine whether or not she can take the pressure of being president <laughs> Jesus, God. You see what I'm talking about? So where do young people 
get the idea that it's okay to sexually harass their fellow students. Uh, going after them if they're perceived to be gay. Going after them if, if, if for, if for any reason whatsoever and using sexual in, in, innuendo. Whether it's a homo or hetero, it doesn't make any difference. Um, well, it does if, if, if the homosexual thing is used because that'll drive a kid, uh, to suicide. Especially, um, in this culture where it is pounded in day in and day out by these evangelical Christians that being gay or having gay thoughts or gay actions or gay anything will condemn you to hell unless you repent. Hmm? Repent. All right. Senator John Ensign confessed to cheating on his wife. Republican. Governor Mark Sanford confessed to serious cheating on his wife. Republican. Larry Craig caught in a sex sting operation in a Minnesota airport bathroom. Republican. David Vitter found to have had uh, found to have been a client of prostitutes in D.C. and Louisiana. Republican. Mark Foley forced to resign when he was found to be having inappropriate communication with pages, uh, uh, House pages. Republican. Bob Packwood, remember him as a long time ago, resigned under a threat of public uh, Senate hearings related to 10 female ex-staffers accusing him of sexual harassment. Republican. John Peterson, uh, been accused of sexual harassment in a hostile work environment claims by six women. He's a Republican from Pennsylvania. Helen Chenoweth, remember her? Uh, one of the first to condemn Clinton. She was a Republican representative from Idaho. She admitted to having a six-year extramarital affair with a married associate. The Spokane Spokesman Review newspaper. Uh, but, but she claimed that she had a pardon from a higher authority. She said, I've asked for God's forgiveness and I've received it. <laughs> She's since divorced and remarried, no doubt, with God's blessing. J.C. Watts of Oklahoma. Uh, Watts tried to cover up his out-of-wedlock child. He's the one that said character is simply doing right when no one is looking. Mm -hmm. Republican of Oklahoma. John Schmitz, Orange County, California, former extreme right-wing Republican, father of two children by a mistress. Uh, his mistress was a former student uh, whom Representative Schmitz taught when he was a professor at Santa Ana College. And one of these children was once admitted to an Orange, Orange County hospital with hair tied in a square knot around his penis so tightly that it was almost severed. Republicans. Republicans. Uh, you re might remember Congressman Schmidt's daughter, Mary Kay Latorno, who made national headlines as a school teacher. She was arrested twice for having sex and producing two children with an underage student of hers, beginning when the boy was 13. I mean, I, do you want me to keep going? There, there, there's really no reason to keep going here. Um, you can go all the way back to Republican racist pedophile and U.S. Senator Strom Thurmond from South Carolina, who uh, had sex with the family maid and produced a child that he uh, never acknowledged publish, uh, publicly. And all the sexual harassment uh, perpetrated by the predators in the Catholic Church. Just just without let up. It doesn't stop. And it doesn't make any difference. I guess you heard that Ireland has decided to close its uh, embassy in the Vatican uh, in response to the Vatican closing its embassy in Ireland because the Ir uh, Irish prime minister just about went berserk about the filth and corruption and degeneracy of the Catholic Church in Ireland. Yeah, Ireland, right. <laughs> if there is a stereotypical Catholic country, it would be Ireland. And the government of Ireland has said to the Catholic Church, get your goddamn hands out of our, our country and off our children's bodies. My, my, my. So where does all this sexual harassment of, uh, of fellow students come from in the schools? You getting any ideas? The sexualization of children's clothing and dress. Have you noticed that? Um, you can go on online. Just just take a look at what uh, what are they called now, Kathy? Tweens, kids from nine or eight to thirteen or something. They're not quite teenagers. Have you seen what they're wearing? Have you seen this this program on television? What is it? Tiaras and Tots. What is that program? Tot 
toddlers and tiaras where kids as young as two and three, these little girls, are dressed up, uh, made up to look like little, I, I, I don't know what you would call them, little strippers, little uh, uh, the street walkers, little uh, high-priced call girls, and then these sick, degenerate mothers parade them across stages to win trophies. Have you seen this? On and on it goes. Now, if I'm coming across like a prude, oh, trust me, I'm not. <laughs> but where it concerns kids, uh, I'm merciless. You, uh, you sexually harass a child. I've said this before. And uh, even though I'm, I'm against capital co uh, punishment, you sexually harass a child. Um, I think you should go to prison for probably 25 or 30 years uh, because you're not going to be cured. And, and let the boys in the jail take care of you.